Hello, and welcome to what I might be calling the Gray Shirt Chronicles, or the White Shirt Chronicles. It might be the White Shirt Chronicles most of the time. I actually never wear this shirt. This is like a shirt that I bought because it's light and kind of stretchy, and it's just like comfy, but I never wear it <laughs> because it's not really convenient because like I usually just wear like a white t-shirt to bed. Um, because that's just what I wear under my clothes the next day. So it's just more convenient to do it that way. But I didn't want to do that for a vlog, and I didn't want to do it for this vlog, which is the first vlog that I'm filming in the evening. So I'm not going to be loud. I'm actually going to be kind of quiet and maybe relaxing and maybe some ASMR. I don't know about the ASMR part. Probably not, but it could be. Um... I need to start doing these because I just don't have time to do the other kind anymore. I have my, my opportunity is basically an hour on Sunday morning. So I would have to get up early on Sunday morning just to film a vlog. And there's no way I would be as lucid as I want to be because the couple of times I've gotten to do vlogs outside of that and like later in the day, it's like they're so much better. <laughs> they're so much better than those stupid morning vlogs. So, um... I'm going to start trying to film vlogs at different times um, and do different things with them. Uh, so finally, I've been talking about doing this for a long time and I haven't done it. And I've been thinking about doing this particular vlog like a lot. Um, this is going to be a vlog about MAGFest and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're like, you know, not interested in that or it's just not your thing, or whatever, maybe you've heard me complain about this for five million times, and I'm not gonna, you know, really bring anything new to the, um, to the table here, um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk about it, because, uh, today, apparently, registration opened for next year's MAGFest in January, um, and I registered, so I guess I'm going... Yay. It's silly for people to say that, though, because you don't know. You might not get a hotel. It's time for the worst season of the year, and that is MAGFest hotel season, when you don't know if you're going to get a hotel or not. Um, and it's just... It's just awful. <laughs> um, I seriously dread this part of the year, and honestly... It's one of the factors that makes me not want to go to MAGFest because it's like, oh my god, that day is so stressful and frustrating and annoying. And uh, it's even more annoying because every time I bring it up around here, my parents are like, why don't you just book the hotel before MAGFest happens? And it's like, well, because A, you have to predict when MAGFest is, and B, once they know when MAGFest is, the, the hotels are already blocked off, aren't they? I mean, I don't know exactly how you can can do it i mean they could probably cancel your reservation <laughs> if you've already booked it and they need it or something i mean it being that far out who knows i don't know i've never tried it but i don't think you can do it like i don't think it works that way um but they keep saying it like it'll work and i really need somebody to like explain to me why it wouldn't so that i can explain it to them because i need to get that off my back <laughs> um so, yeah, it, I'm not excited about that part of it. I'm very much not excited. Um, and I, I just, I can't wait to be 5,625th in line. I should write that down and place bets on it because I'm, I'm, uh, I am so certain <laughs> that's where I'll end up because that's, I feel like that's where I usually end up. Um, and I am just not ready for that stress. And I'm not excited about it. Um, cause I don't even know if my inn is in this year. Um, I haven't, I haven't dared ask, I guess. Um, oh my God. It's just, it's frightening and it sucks. Cause it's like, oh, you know, I've been going to MAGFest for how long now? 14 years. This will be my, I think this will be my 14th one, maybe like literally teen, teen now, <laughs> literally teenage years MAGFest. Oh my god. Yeah, cause, well, no, no. 
13th? I think it's 13, actually. I forget the first one I went. It was 2012, wasn't it? I think. I don't know. I don't even fucking remember. I'd have to find the picture of the um, the map that Tim signed because he wrote the date on it. And he actually wrote the day before, which was my birthday. So he wrote January 6th and then a year. I think it was 2012. I'm pretty sure it was 2012. So this would be my, yeah, 13th. 13th time going, I think. I don't know. I'm not doing math at 10 o'clock at night. And I said I was more lucid. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you know. It just, my brain gets so stupid about Bankfest. It really does. You know, my original intention was to do this vlog in, like, June. You see how well that works out? It's September. <laughs> this is how my life goes. Um, but, like, it's really silly how my how my brain on Bankfest is. It's really annoying. Because it's, like, it, my brain will come up with the stupidest shit to be, like, not excited about. And, like, it's not even Bankfest. It's, like, travel, you know? I still have that fear of, like, you know, and I think this is a real fear. Like, I'm, I'm, it's not nothing, but, like, um, like, sometimes I think about, man, what if you go and you just get, like, stuck in the hotel room, right? You, like, get sick or something. You get, like, violently ill and you're just stuck in the hotel room the whole time. It's like, that sucks. And it's like, that's happened to many people. <laughs> like, it's like, dude, <laughs> that's a real thing. Um, and it, it, I, I don't, it's almost more worrying that, like, it hasn't happened in such a way that I've been really inhibited by it. Because, um, I mean, mm, stomach things have happened to me at MAGFest. Boy, howdy. Um, <laughs> there's like a new, a new story every year about that. Um, but like, you know, it's such a, um, I don't know. It's such a weird thing to think about. And it's like, sometimes I'm like, dude, what if you didn't have access to your toilet? What if somebody else was on the toilet and you needed it? What would you do? Do you ever, like, think about things like this? Is this just me? Like, because I think travel is the same way, right? You know, because it's like, if you're in a hotel room with a bunch of people, it's like, even even if it's just more than you, you know, it's like, there's a non-zero chance that the only toilet is going to be must, you know? Must. That's not right. Um, but, yeah, no. Um... It's like I'm thinking right now about when I went to Disney World because I think about that all the time. Actually, it's a problem, um, and it's like, huh? Where would you go? Where would you go if you needed another toilet? And I'm not sure. At Magfest, I think it would. I think it would actually be safer at Magfest because there are toilets somewhere, but like on a room floor there's not just random toilets i don't think like there's not just random bad why what is this vlog what is this vlog this vlog is so dumb um <laughs> like there aren't like i've just like in all the years i've been going to hotels it's like i've never thought about it not once but right now but now i'm thinking about it and i'm like yeah no there aren't like random bathrooms on a hotel floor unless you don't have bathrooms in your room but like there's only one bathroom in there like, that sucks. I can't imagine stuff in a room full of, you know, five or six people. Because, like, then there's, like, always going to be someone on a can, right? Although I'm sure there are people that, like, go the entire MAGFest without doing anything in their hotel room toilet. What is this vlog? <laughs> yeah, good luck having ASMR to this one. Good, jeez. What is this? This is the stupid shit my brain comes up with, though, by the way. When it, when it comes to, like, MAGFest and travel and stuff. Like, literally, I'll think about that. I'll be like, dude, I would like to go to another city. And it's like, all right, well, what if you have to crap really bad? <laughs> what if you're in Tokyo and you have to crap really bad? And it's like, I don't know. The answer is I should just emodium all the time when I travel. Just never 
never shit in any country that's not your own. Of course, I, I can't really. Magfest and Disney World are both, they're both inside the country, and in, in fact, Magfest is even inside my state. So, but I, I mean, seriously, I'm fucking spoiled when it comes to Magfest. I only live an hour away. In a dire emergency, I could have literal family drive and come get me within an hour. Like, not within an hour, but like in something of an hour. Oh, God, that's something I'm not looking forward to this year. My commute is actually going to be longer because the there's no bridge. That happened back in March. And, like, damn, there's no bridge. So I'm not looking forward to that. I'm, like, actually not looking forward to that. Because I got so used to the way I went before, and now it's going to be different for the first time in years, and I'm just I'm done. I need to start inviting Jake to Magfest again so he can drive. Oh, my God. But, yeah, no. Um, I did want to do this vlog like a while ago because I wanted to talk about the fact that I think about MAGFest all fucking year long and how I don't do the things that I say I'm going to do after MAGFest. Although I am kind of getting used to that at this point. Because like, there was a, a good period of time where it was like after MAGFest I was like, you know what, I'm going to make friends, I'm going to come back and everybody's going to know me and want to hang out with me and think I'm cool and it's like, you haven't done any of that shit. It's like, I'm going to go to other people's streams. I'm going to do multiplayer nights with them. I'm going to hang out with them online. I'm going to chat in their discords. I'm going to be a presence. I have done none of that. I've done fucking none of that. <laughs> I have, I've talked in zero discords. Haven't even looked at the Mag Friends Discord in like weeks, months probably. Quantifiably months probably. Um, I am so bad. I am so bad at this. I am so fucking bad at this. I am going to go to MAGFest in January and I'm going to stare at walls and feel awkward and have some friends around me and I'm going to be like, this is fucking cool. Um, and then be like, huh. I'm going to go stand over here now. <laughs> it's going to be my mag. It's going to be exactly the same as it has been in years past. And that's a little bit disappointing to me. Um, and it's tiring. Um, I really think that my disdain and my anxiety about it uh, has a lot to do with um, the fact that there were some peak there were some peak magfests, and uh, I just don't don't think that they will be able to be replicated um, because of the the nature of the of the beast. You know, I think a lot of my best magfests were the ones where I got to spend them primarily with a and people who have heard me talk about MAGFest know this, but, like, you know, primarily with a tight group of people, and I feel like I got to know them and got close to them, you know, um, during the time of MAGFest. And uh, 2019 was the biggest example of that. That was, like, that was, that was a good one. Um, 2020 was another, like, peak MAGFest. Um, I want to say 2023. Three? Is that the one I'm thinking of? The one where people came back after it being 2022, is that right? I was just thinking about this, and I was like, yeah, 2023, that was peak. What happened in 2023? Oh... I was thinking about that one because of the Amogus one. That was the one... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, no. I know why I thought 2023 was peak. I thought 2023 was peak because we did karaoke on, on day zero. That's why 2023 was peak. Um, that's why. Because I loved doing karaoke. Um, and I would like to do it with um, maybe a little bit less than 20 people this time. <laughs> um, because goddamn crowds. Uh, also because I could have sang more than two and a half songs so that would have been that would have been nice would have been cool <laughs> like if you want to talk about things that live in my head rent free karaoke today britney spears is toxic was on the radio and i was like what if i did that? what if i sang britney spears is toxic but i didn't do it in like the falsetto high voice and was like into and tried to play it smooth like that would be fucking cool right like i always think i'd like literally ask me anytime I'm like always thinking about karaoke there are like there are like a couple of things that I'm always thinking about uh Disney World <laughs> uh karaoke when I listen to music uh Magfest and the fourth thing we can't talk about <laughs> um yeah that's 
anyway um <laughs> now everyone's gonna wonder it's a it's a thing um but yeah no it's it's such a weird let me point something out to you real quick that's one of my, that's like one of my that's like a transition sentence that's like a tick that I do when I'm trying to get back into something I'll always say it's really weird or I always say like that's that's a weird thing like it's just like a transition thing to try and get my brain back to where it was it doesn't always work just like right now it didn't work I don't think but like yeah I don't know it's just like it's gonna it's like this this magfest is gonna be the same thing there's gonna be huge groups of people many people I don't know and it's just you know there are people that I would like to hang out with but it's like it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be because there are lots of people that those people have hung out with during the year and you haven't even been there and it's like jeez damn that sucks dude <laughs> so um I don't know I don't know why I wish I could temper my expectations for MAGFest and be like dude just do the thing I guess I don't know but there's always that feeling of like, okay, well, I'm here. I have five, I have four, four and a half days to spend with everyone. So I got to make them count. <laughs> you know, um, you know, there's always that FOMO, that heavy FOMO. Nowhere in the world is there greater FOMO than a MAGFest because then it doesn't happen for a whole year. Look, if you're young, by the way, if you're younger than me, um, I have good news for you, or if you're if you've uh, only been to Magfest a couple of times, I have good news for you. The wait gets shorter every year, um, to the point where um, throughout 2024, I feel like, oh my God, it's almost time for Magfest already. Oh, jeez, oh, like it's almost it's almost disturbing how how quickly Magfest comes up now. It used to feel like a fucking age. It used to be like, oh my God. <laughs> And now it's not. Now it's like, dude, MAGFest is like tomorrow. And that's how it feels. You know? Like, tomorrow we'll be doing hotels, and then for a week I'll be uh, shitting my balls um, about a hotel, um, and then we'll be a MAGFest somehow. <laughs> it just it gets shorter, and it just sneaks up on you, and it's like the wonderful thing about MAGFest is that it... Uh, it very much puts into perspective all the things that I haven't done this year and all of the all of the all of the dudes all of the dudes that I haven't been <laughs> um and it's just uh, it's kind of frustrating like I don't know what to do I don't know how to go be social I don't know how to do that genuinely like get out of here you know, and then there's a whole bunch of other internal things that are <laughs> that are a problem with me. Like, why can't people do that for me? That would be cool if they did that. And it's like, no one does that. It's rare that, like, you know, it's rare that people reach out to me first, you know. People do it. And I, you know, I always feel bad saying shit and, compl and, the, and complaining uh, because I do have people that, that care and are you know super cool about stuff and are, are very good people and i look forward to seeing them at magfest and it's like i just feel bad because i always like i feel like you always want the things you can't have and then like the things you have are like things that you make it seem like you don't want them but it's not true and you should appreciate them more frankly and it's like damn but it hard because i want to be mildly popular I don't know what do I mean what's that even about like why do I feel like I have to be popular why do I feel like people have to um you know like me or why I have with like anything like why do I feel that way it's like you don't have to you don't have to feel anything you know you don't have to do anything there shouldn't be any magfest. at MAGFest like I said each year just going to MAGFest and being away from work for a couple of days is like is like a wonderful thing honestly it's, it's more and more part of the appeal of magfest is just like having time off and going uh and and vibing for a couple of days like <laughs> sitting in the room watching shit is like all right man <laughs> like it's cool um so 
you know. Um, but yeah, man, I've always said, and I I feel strong more strongly about this every year. But like, I would love to like, like those um, places that the first couple of TRG coliseums took place in. I would love to rent one of those, and have just a bunch of friends go and hang out for a long weekend. And play games and do activities and, and stuff like that. I was thinking about that a little earlier. And I was like, you know what? That would actually be like the coolest fucking thing. I would actually probably enjoy that more than MagFest. Because I wouldn't feel like, you know, here's all this time and I don't know what's going on. It's like, you're there to hang out. You're there to chill. You don't have to have a plan. You know what I mean? I feel like that would actually be a really chill time. You know? Like, it's it's cool. I would love to do that. And I know people have talked about it, but no one's ever, no one ever talks about it loud enough or whatever. Like people barely, like, like people barely talk to me at all. So it's like, why would anyone talk about that? So, you know, <laughs> it, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of sucks. <laughs> um, but I would love to do that. I would love to do that with, with all sorts of things. I would love to take like my stream people that hang out at my streams and do that. And have like a cool like long weekend getaway um and i would just like stream in person and people can watch my stupid face as i as i um get angry at video games um i don't know that would be a cool thing but like i would actually probably like that more than than mag because mag is just so much it's just so much and there are so many people and it's like a thing you know what would happen though someone would plan the house the big house thing and where everybody gets together for a weekend and i wouldn't be i wouldn't end up being part of that the, that group that's what would happen and then i would have to be like all right well all those people are out there having a weekend <laughs> it's like like watch my idea that's happened before that shit happens to me and i that's, that's why i'm a bitter old man because <laughs> because that shit happens but yeah, like, dude, it's, you know, but yeah, I've been thinking about it. It's like, oh yeah, here it is, you know, June, it's September now, <laughs> even worse. And like, I haven't hung out with anybody or really talked to anybody and I'm going to go to MAGFest and it's going to be like, oh yeah, this is not only the first time I've seen you in a year, it's the first time I've talked to you in a year. It's like, it's great. And I've never understood that. Like me, it's like, I guess I've never had any sort of magnetic personality. And to a degree, that's okay. But the issue is, is that I've always been interested in things that like kind of require other people to pay attention and want to be there um, in order for me to feel validated from such. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, like being in a band and whatnot, it's like you kind of need people to be interested in the thing that you're doing that aren't directly involved with it. And it's like... Hmm. That's an interesting idea. Um, and streaming is, is kind of like no different. And um, how did I end up on this topic? I looked at Noah's shiny shoulder, the amiibo, and I was like, I completely forgot <laughs> how I got to. Because uh, didn't I say earlier, oh, why do you need to be popular? It's like, I don't know. Because it's just, it's, uh, oh, magnetic personality. Yeah, I've never had that. That's, see, I remembered magnetic personality. Um, I don't know. I've just never been the kind of person that I guess people, like, want to stick around to. Because there are people, like, after MAGFest that, like, sometimes kind of show up to a stream or two for ten minutes. And then they don't come back. And it's like, dude, why don't you stay? Did I not hook you? I wish I could have. <laughs> it's like, damn. What did I do? And it's like, I never know what I do. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. It's like, hmm. Hmm. You know how they say, like, don't trust how you feel about your life after 9 p.m.? Well, it's 10 something right now, and I'm vlogging, and it's probably not. I'm realizing that maybe this isn't the best. <laughs> maybe this isn't the best. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to talk about MAGFest to prove that, like, I think about it all fucking year. Like, you might look at me, you don't, but you might look at me, and you might be like, he's probably not thinking about MAGFest. And it's like, I'm definitely thinking about MAGFest. I'm thinking about sitting in the atrium 
in that one spot on day zero after having uh, made the grave mistake of eating a spinach wrap. Um, very green. Um, I'm thinking about sitting there in the atrium outside of the cafe area and looking up at the rooms. Um, and I guess one of the reasons I remember it is because t uh, Tim vlogged it. There was part of it, and he zoomed in on Rick Astley. Dude, I'm, I, I remember staring at the walls and shit. So it's going to happen again, and I'm like, eh. It's just like, dude, I wish I didn't get, like, stressed out about it or anxious or whatever. I wish I was just like, dude, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be such a good time. But I know my brain isn't going to let me do that. <laughs> I wish my brain would just chill and shut the fuck up and just be like, dude, you're going to enjoy the parts that you enjoy. And you're going to feel bad sometimes. <laughs> and that's how it works. That's how it's worked literally every, every year you've gone. And you know what? You've come out okay each time, sort of, kind of. So... I don't know. I wish <laughs> I wish I was better at community. Please tell me how to do that. Cuz I need to know how to feel like I'm friends with people. I might as well be doing this shit at at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. Good god. Um if you're a Magfest person, hi. Tell me some magfesty stuff in the comments. If you're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I never shut up about magfest, but it's one of the things that I think about. No, seriously, it's like when I dream, there are only a couple of things I dream about. Disney World is the new thing that I dream about all the time because it was the only thing that happened in my life <laughs> last year. Um, magfest is another one. I will always dream about magfest. Work is the third one, and then school. It's like those are the four places my dreams take place. Um, almost a, a, a very vast percentage take place in those four places. No, I'm thinking about MAGFest all the time. I am always I am always self-conscious about MAGFest. It's a curse. <sighs> all right, I guess I should shut up now. We, this is almost a half hour long, and that's way too long, and I think I've, I don't know, I have probably haven't made my entire point, but whatever this is what you get honestly my hair looks a little cute in this one though the 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 somewhat wet look is is not it's not awful all right well bye maybe i'll do another magfest vlog. post in the comments if you want to if you want another magfest vlog about me talking about magfest cuz i'll do it you know i will you know i can go another 40 minutes about this shit you know it. <laughs>